Hey, welcome to One Minute Tutorials. Today in Reaper, we're gonna keep talking about cycle actions. Watch the last video if you haven't. So today we're gonna make a cycle action from scratch. So I wanna make a create a cycle action that let me solo a track and then bring up its effects chain. And then I wanna press the same key and go back to normal. So let's pull up the cycle actions editor. So we right click here and go add cycle action and we give it a name. Let's call it solo track and open effects window. So I'll also bring up my action list and now I'm gonna look for things that I want. The first thing is I want for safety on solo all tracks. So I'll just click on it and then I'll right click here and add selected action in the actions window. So whatever you got your mouse cursor on comes here. The next thing I want to do is I want to toggle solo for the selected track. Toggle solo for selected tracks. So I want to loop and play whatever it is I'm looking at as well. And then finally I want to view the effects chain. Boom. So this is where the cycle comes in. So when you add a step that means that the first time you run the action it would run all these commands and then stop here after I'm done so first of all I want to close everything so let's add that I want to one more time on solo all tracks my loop and play will create a time selection so let's also remove that and that's it so once you're done putting all your commands in you gotta hit apply and now it's a new action so now I made a hotkey for it which is command shift control and F so let's say I want to work on this track I hit the hotkey and it'll automatically play it and show me the effects window and then when I'm done I can hit that again and I'm out of there. So that's it. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. There's one more video about cycle actions coming up. So if you have any questions regarding Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic, SWS, whatever it is, let me know and I'll make a one minute tutorial as well. Bye.